Hello, hello, my adorable squid things. It is Katie here, and welcome back to another video. As you might be able to tell from the title, we're doing a challenge video today, and I'm actually really excited about this challenge. So today, I'm only going to be using erasers to create my art. So pretty much, I'm going to be erasing my design into paper instead of drawing it, which is a little different and something I'm not super comfortable with, but I think it would be a fun little challenge for myself. Even though I'm saying I'm going to be using only erasers, I am, however, going to be using a piece of paper and I'm going to be coating this paper with a pencil just so I have something to erase. Um, but other than that, I'm going to be erasing my drawing into this. And yeah, I'm really excited, really nervous. So yeah, without further ado, let us fill up this paper with some graphite and then we can get started. So with doing the only eraser challenge, of course I couldn't just do only an eraser because you can't erase something from nothing. So what I figured I would do is like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I would scribble off a pencil onto some paper and then erase from there. Well, my first attempt at this you'll see isn't so great. <laughs> um, it's, I didn't really get a great lay down of pencil on the paper and then all I did was an eyeball and I just don't really understand my process and I was like you know what I need to just think of something else to draw um, and then I'll come back to it the next day so that is exactly what I did but this time instead of using a pencil to scrape it off I found a stick of graphite that I had I took an exacto knife and I scraped the graphite onto the paper and smoothed it out that way. And I found that gave me such a great payoff as far as, you know, like the smoothness was concerned. And then again, I drew another eyeball. Still not really sure why I did that. <laughs> but then um, to smooth it out and to kind of erase my lines, quote unquote, I just applied more graphite and smoothed it over. And then I decided to draw a cute little Cyclops girl um, in a Japanese school uniform. <laughs> I thought it was a fun little idea. Um, this month on Patreon, my theme is mythical creatures. And so this lovely lady will be available as a sticker for all my patrons that pledge. I believe it's $3 or more. So uh, if you are interested in pledging over on Patreon and supporting the channel, um, you can click on the screen. Um, if you don't know what Patreon is, basically it's a place where you pledge every month and you get rewards every month. So for my Patreon, you can get rewards for as little as $1 a month. That'll net you some photos of my sketchbook and works in progress that I don't show anywhere else online. It'll get you line art to download and color, and if you color it and share it with me for that month, you get entered to win free stuff from my store. Plus, I host art raffles, I send prints off to my patrons, I make buttons and stickers for my patrons as well. So if that sounds like something you would be interested in um, again like I said there will be a link on the screen so yeah for this challenge I thought it was pretty difficult honestly because I'm working with just an eraser and um, like I said to erase my mistakes I would add graphite to cover it up or I would just smooth it out um, and I guess it's technically cheating because I'm not using only an eraser even though that's what the challenge is but you gotta work with what you're given and I decided to work with graphite. <laughs> but anyway, um, this was a really fun challenge. It was a really difficult challenge, and I'll probably do it again maybe next year or something. Um, if you guys do this challenge, please, please, please share it with me. I'd love to see it. You can use the hashtag squiddoodling with Katie to show me any and all artwork that you'd like me to see. Uh, I will definitely see it. I track the tag on Instagram, and if you tag me, I'll definitely see it. And I, I don't know, I like like to look through the tag and comment and like all you guys' stuff. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I want to thank you all so incredibly much for watching. You all are amazing and I love you all so incredibly much. Um, if you aren't already and you want to follow me on any of my social media, I have social media links down in the description below as well as a link to my art store where I sell prints of my art and stuff like that. I also have art books over there which is pretty cool um, and again the link will be on the screen and in the description. So yeah, um, you guys are amazing. Again, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, my adorable squidlings, toodaloo.